UT Arlington practiced on Friday, and they're looking to build on the success of the 2014 season with a good mix of returning players and newcomers. Practices are being held at Clay Gold Ballpark. While the Mavericks only have two players who started a game last season, they do have a good amount of pitchers who will look to make a mark on the program. Leading the charge this year is going to be senior Chad Knack, who appeared in 26 games last season. He notched four saves and finished with an ERA of 1.25. The Mavericks will open up the 2015 season on February 13th when they take on Missouri State at Stephen F. Austin Tournament. UT Arlington Mavericks kept off a strong week of play on Sunday as they swept Appalachian State. The result marked the 8th Street victory at College Park Center and the third sweep for the Mavericks. Head coach Diane Seymour was asked how well her back row played. Yeah, and it usually will. You know, I think if it's a battle of offense versus defense, defense usually will prevail. I believe that. And our, our back row was amazing. Our block did a good job of setting up our defense and got blocks at, at timely um, points in the sets, you know, obviously, and some really positive touches. So, yeah. Kiana Canetti helped pace the Mavericks as she recorded her 13th double-double this season with 22 digs and a team high 10 kills. The win improves UTA's record to 16-5 this season and 6-3 and in the Sun Belt, while Appalachian State falls to 15-4 and 5-4 and and in conference play. I'm glad we're playing Arkansas State so quickly, because I think we all have a bad taste in our mouth from a week ago down there, you know, in Jonesboro, or up there in Jonesboro. So um, the biggest thing, like I said right now for us, is we're focusing on us and playing as good a volleyball as we can. The Mets will return to action on Friday, October 17th against Arkansas State, with the match set to begin at 6.30 p.m. at College Park Center.